Good morning. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. That's how you do shit when you look good. Um, headed to one million cups. So I got my one million cups. I got one of one million cups. I don't know who's presenting this morning, but we'll find out when we get there. And then we got some jobs lined up after that. So make some motherfucking money. It seems like it'll be over a thousand dollar day, just depending on just uh, you know assuming both jobs from what we know. So fingers crossed for that. And then pick up mom's car later, and need to hit the gym even if I have to go in the evening until it closes that's what we fucking doing so we'll keep you updated as we get the day moving along fucking smoggy ass windshield as, you know, Zoom fatigue. Can you relate to that? Does anybody remember that? Just wave at me. Great meeting as always. I'm already changed, waiting for Kyle to get over, uh, to get over here. He's gonna get changed and we go head over to the job, knock out the first job, do a small little estimate, and then we have another job. I'm not too sure how big or small it's gonna be, so we will find out after we get in that bitch. All right, quick little update to the job. Um, customer's right there in the blue car, heading out in just a second. And, uh, you know, we close the job. It's someone we've done bids for before. He works for a storage company, a storage unit. Um, as I said in the very beginning of the video, hopefully it's gonna be $1,000 a day. This job right here is 900 bucks. So, <laughs> should take us about, I don't know, two hours, probably three with trips. The landfill we're gonna load up as big as we can just to avoid to avoid the landfill uh, or multiple trips um, including probably using our truck bed get this done and then we will confirm with another customer do a bid or, or estimate or whatever and then we have some other jobs lined up later today so it's gonna be a another good day we'll take it all right off to a great start already I'm um, not gonna be sweeping this, but I'm gonna do a quick sweep on the main rooms. These are cleared out, everything's cleared out. Now we're on to the bottom. All right, that's upstairs, upstairs is done, that door is going. This is what the living room looks like now. We're getting, just pushing everything from the house back into the living room. So here's what we're looking, with, looking at. The kitchen is done besides sweeping. That's staying. Appliances are staying. And look at what we found here. A bonk. Take a big fucking ripper. <laughs> Junk ass. All right. The old house is cleaned out. Swept. Just got to uh, take this final load or this first load to the scrapyard load up all of our shit and then come back after the scrapyard and load up all of this and take it to the dump. All right, here at the scrapyard, about to see how much we make on this then go back and get this uh, apartment cleaned up. And then after that, landfill of course, and then we got some other jobs or estimates or whatever lined up. All right, 46 buckos or 56 buckos and off to finish this job. All righty, this was the load as you guys saw. It's an oversized load, but we don't want to make multiple trips. So Kyle's loading up literally the last two pieces. And then we're going to throw the tarp over, bungee cord it and head off to the landfill. I cannot believe we got a brand new inverter table. Since we go to the gym, we do this heavy labor. This thing is going to be a life changer, a back saver. Get rid of this massive ass fucking load.
damn, look at this landfill line. That's just to right there, and then you still have all the way over there. $22.57 for that load. So in total, the scrapyard covered our landfill fee and gas pretty much for that job. So we're pretty much in $900 of profit um, for that job we just finished. And uh, now I'm gonna stop, take a quick pee, and now we head to those estimates that I've said about a million times. All right, so we got some homeless people living over there and uh, that's what we gotta clean up. So we gotta tell them to leave politely. All right, so we're gonna be doing this whole job, loading up as much as we can into the trailer right now, and then come Friday, we are going to be clearing out this whole building and the garage. All righty, yep. All right, so that's our full load. Gotta to head to the uh, landfill, and then we will be back Monday, or I mean, not Monday, Friday, and get all of this knocked out. updated you all but I dropped Kyle off to pick up mom's car so he is headed back home teamwork makes the dream work so I'm here about to unload the uh that load we just did god damn um dump this shit real quick and then we are done for the day and then I'm pretty sure I updated this but yeah we closed that job for 2000 on Friday and we're coming up honestly on I think slightly over 7,000 for the week and that's not including Thursday so from Friday to Friday not including Thursday so six days so far um, we are coming up on 7k tomorrow we should be at 8k so I'll do all the math to confirm but we are fucking whooping ass this week and it's only March we are ready to fucking get it we are ready to fucking get it That's tempting. There's probably fifty dollars worth of metal right there. <laughs> people just fucking people throw away the motherfucking money. They don't give a damn. But you know, who gives a fuck what other people do? We here for what we do, motherfuckers. Oh man, fucking cat. We just disposed of that load, 1776 for a $300 load. Um, normally, again, we charge 350 for a full load, but since we closed that job for the last load that we did to fill up our trailer for uh, just to fill it up for 200 bucks, uh, because we are going back Friday with the box truck and doing a full clean out of everything in there that's remaining and going to be charging $2,000. Plus we'll have the trailer with us and we'll use that for metal. We're super close to the scrap yard where we're gonna be at. So as many loads as it take um, to the scrap yard, we will continue to do that as well, make that extra money because it is an old body shop. So there's lots of metal, lots of things that can be scrapped in there. So super excited for Friday. Um, Thursday, we have a small phone cut off because I'm running out of iPhone storage had to delete a vlog that I've already posted but headed home now Kyle already is at home because he picked up the car we're gonna clean out the truck clean out everything get it all prepped for tomorrow and then like I said we have a light demolition mini small removal job moving job and then one item moving job tomorrow and then I am going live in my Facebook group if you're a part of that make sure to join in at 3 p.m. I know I just said to join in. You probably won't see this vlog for a few days, so it'll be well past. So if you are not in the free Facebook group, it's called the Winners Only Junk Removal Facebook group um, on Facebook, obviously. So make sure you join, it's free. And then um, don't be a pussy and click the description and join the Winners Only Discord as well. And I'll see you in there, players. We are 
motherfucking home. Just got done making some damn content by the last couple days. My RV removal. 